Pastor Sarge, can you give us an invocation, please? Okay, again, we're going to call the meeting to order. <laughs> and Pastor Sarge is, is going to give us an invocation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you now for what has transpired this day, for the meeting that we just completed, and now we ask your blessings as we proceed with this meeting. Lord, give guidance to what we do here, let it be all for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Do we don't have a flag to do a Pledge of Allegiance. We just had, we just had the Pledge of Allegiance, so we're going to forego that this time. Um, roll call. Attorney Jennifer Morrison. Here. Miss Jerry Booker. Here. Representative C. Denise Marcel. Here. Jennifer Harris. Cole. Here. Councilwoman Shawna Banks. She's okay. Be... Attorney Schilling. Here. Steve Schilling. Miss Patricia Williams. Here. Miss Jessica Gary. Here. Reverend Leo B. Cyrus. Here. Father Andrew. Here. Um, Professor Dorothy Jackson. Here. Miss Pamela Ann Mitchell. Here. Mr. Jamie Robinson. Here. Chief Carl Dunn. Here. Ms. Dorothy Tibbo. Here. We have one. Thank you. And then we'll open the floor for public comment. There being none, we can move on. Um, I know we circulated the minutes from the last board meeting. Do I hear a motion to uh, certify the minutes of the last board meeting? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Okay. And now election of officers. I plan to move that Ms. Booker be chairperson for this next term. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call the discussion. I'll nominate Jennifer um, Moyes on to be treasurer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, can we do one at the end? No. Let's do one Okay, so let's vote on Ms. Booker. You can hold ballot. All those in favor of Ms. Booker say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Congratulations, Ms. Johnson. I will now nominate Jennifer Moyes on to be treasurer. All right. We got to do the vice chair first. Let's do the vice chair first. All right. Okay. Now, uh honey, -huh, you can make a nomination. I nominate Representative Lily Stevens Marcel for vice chair. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Steve, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> I nominate Jennifer Moyes on the Moyes on the All right. Sir. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. And secretary. Do I hear any nominations for volunteers? I nominate <laughs> Jamie Robinson for secretary. You hear a second? I second it. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, opposed? All right. Is that a election of officers? Election of officers, all right. Great. Finance report. Good. Ms. Perez, oh. is this something I'm going to get from you? I do. It's not very good. Okay. <laughs> Three items. Um, the first item um, oh. in our In your packet, you have a proposed budget for FY 2020. That's a, a group of June 1st for the state of Louisiana. I don't know what side is on the packet. Uh, oh, it's, it's behind the minutes. It's a very okay. 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 report. Okay. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Okay. The only three things I'd like to mention, a couple of things I'd like to mention on this particular proposed budget for the upcoming uh, fiscal year for our state funding. Um, we received um, a proposed increase, and I say proposed until the, the uh, governor signs off on it, that it could change, but a proposed increase of $209,158. It's all federal money, though, none from the state. Um, and the majority of that 126000 of it comes for, for um, a food from our NSIP grant, and um, that's the uh, Nutritional Services uh, Incentive Program. That we have to buy American products and all that from the Agriculture Department, but there's a $126,000 increase in that grant uh, so that we can purchase more food for our seniors. 
And on the on the particular report, you see our GOE funding went up from 1.9 million to 2.1. Um, the only other changes in this budget as opposed to last year, um, I reduced some of the, the um, salaries in there because we want to focus more on um, feeding seniors. Since we do have supplemental money that we can pay salaries well, uh, I want this particular point to, to show that we are using the money to uh, provide most of the services to seniors, which in this case would be most of the food. The food budget went up from 480000 to 800000 on this particular grant. Some due to the increase that we got from them, and some we're going to get from the uh, millage money. Um, that's it. That's basically the, the main changes in this. We're going to increase the food budget. And because uh, last year, like Tasha said in her in her presentation, last year we did 650,000 uh, meals. We do expect that to increase. Uh, it's just when we get more space to cook more, we can feed more. But we're now that's that's a hold up. Having more space to prepare meals. The, the increase in food costs because of the increase in food distribution, right? Yeah. Give you to more people. That's right. And it's like, it's, it's not the first time, though, that the, the, the feds in the state gave us more money. Yeah, we, Man, we didn't ask for it. Right. You know, they just <laughs> gave us an extra like $200,000 that we didn't ask for. Yes. Yeah. But we, gonna, we appreciate it, and we're going to put it in food. Right. Yeah. So, most of oh, that's what I'm saying. Uh huh. Most yeah. of the extra money that mm -hmm. was attributed from. Yeah, it's going to be contributed from somewhere to raw foods and supplies to reduce okay. all meals. And so you could have used that money. No, it's that's not restricted. One hundred twenty-six thousand of it is restricted. Restricted. Yeah, right. that's the okay. that's the nutrition services incentive program. Right. Right. And that one you can only buy uh, products mm -hmm. grown in the USA. And they got another uh, 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 restriction on that. I didn't know it until today. Mm -hmm. I think it's new. But you can't boycott against Israel either if you right. take those funds. Right. So that's what? What kind of yes, Israel? Oh, okay. I know. I know well, that's why I'm not going to be a big council on aging of East Bedford. Anybody who accepts these funds. Boycott Israel. Anybody yeah. who receives funds so from, from, from uh, this one. So these extra funds are some of those, um, some of the money to uh, help the farmers with those tariffs. Yeah. It's really what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's really the, the, uh, the bad caveat. I know. Yeah. Yeah. They added, they added yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah. But we're going to spend it and we're not going to work out it. We're not going to work out it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> okay. So that's, that's basically the change about increases for fiscal year 2020 as far as the state grant dollars. Uh, so I need a, a motion for approval. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. And to go along with it, there, there's a resolution that must be prepared. And we have to do two because one's for the state fiscal year and one's for our fiscal year. Yeah, well, no, one's for one, one is for this particular uh, proposed budget I just did. Okay. The other one is for the budget we did in, uh, for the amended budget in April. We didn't get a resolution then. Oh. We got the approval. It's in your minutes. You approved the amended budget, but we didn't do a resolution. Oh, so that's okay. What that is. Okay. Um, Board resolution to adopt the instrument acceptance of the FY 2019 amended, amended budget on the fifth day of May 2019 at a meeting of the Board of Directors of the East Baton Rouge Parish Council on Aging Incorporated. The corporation held in the city of Baton Rouge, state of Louisiana, with a quorum of the directors present. The following business was conducted. It was duly moved and seconded that the following resolution be adopted. We resolved that the Board of Directors of the Bob Nine Corporation does hereby acknowledge and accept the FY 2018. 2019 amended budget. The above resolution was passed by the judge those present and voting in accordance with the bylaws and articles of incorporation. I certify that the above and part of constitutes a true and correct copy of part of the minutes of a meeting of the board of directors held on the 15th day, May 2019. Board resolution to adopt well, this. Let's, let's <laughs> approve that one. Yeah. If that's okay. Um, um, Dr. Cole. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Thank you, Dr. Cole. Next. Resolution. No. Mm -hmm. uh, acceptance of the fiscal year 2020. Order resolution to adopt this instrument acceptance of the FY 2020 budget state. On the fifth day, fifteenth day of May 2019, at a meeting of the Board of Directors of the East Baton Rouge Parish Council on Aging Incorporated, the corporation held in the city of Baton Rouge, state of Louisiana, with a quorum of directors present, the following business was conducted. It was duly moved and seconded that the following resolution be adopted. Be it resolved that the Board of Directors of the Above Name Corporation does hereby acknowledge and accept the FY 2020 budget state. 
The above resolution was passed by the majority of those present and voting in accordance with the bylaws and articles of the corporation. I surprise that the above and foregone constitutes a true and correct copy of a part of the minutes of the meeting of the board of directors held on the 15th day of May 2019. Do I hear a motion to adopt this instrument? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay. Thank you, Ms. Um, next, if I could, Madam Chair, yes, ma we um, we had 11 of our staff members to get Medicare certified, to become Medicare certified counselors, myself included, and uh, since becoming certified, SHIP, which is a part of the State Department of Insurance, has um, given us a grant to do some counseling hours. Uh, I want to uh, 4,000 4, units of counseling hours, and they're giving us uh, a grant. For how much? Which one? $20,000 grant. $20,000 for, is it 4,000 units or 20,000? Yes. Yeah. It's $20,000. 20,000 $20,000. 4,000 units. Um, in, the, so, in the resolution, it's 20,000 20, units. units. Is it 20,000 units? Okay, she says it's 20,000 units. Okay, they I'm sent the sure. resolution over, we just typed it. So, um, <laughs> 20,000 units, it's $20,000. Um, just talking to the seniors about Medicare, not to tear up your red, white, and blue card, and, and so on and so forth. And so we need a resolution to accept the $20,000 for the information and assistance department to, to start doing the counseling sessions. Board resolution, board resolution to adopt this instrument acceptance of the ship contract on the 15th day of May 2019 at a meeting of the board of directors of the East Baton Rouge Parish Council on Agent Incorporated, a corporation held in the city of Baton Rouge, state of Louisiana, with a quorum of the directors present. The following business was conducted, <coughs> removed, and seconded that the following resolution be adopted. Be it resolved that the board of directors of the above named corporation does hereby acknowledge and accept the senior health insurance information program ship contract. The contract will provide 2,000 units, 20,000 units for the Medicaid counseling service. The above resolution was passed by a majority of those present and voting in accordance with the bylaws and articles of the corporation. I hereby certify that the above and foregone constitutes a true and correct copy of a part of the minutes of a meeting of the board of directors held on the 15th day of May 2019. Do I hear a motion to adopt this instrument? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Um, next is just a resolution to uh, adopt and accept uh, the area plan. This is the book that's in, in front of you. It's already been submitted to the governor's office of elderly affairs, submitted and approved, and they just need a resolution from the board saying that we submitted it. Board. Board resolution to adopt an instrument adoption of the 2019-2023 area plan on the 15th day of May 2019 at a meeting of the Board of Directors of the East Baton Rouge Parish Council on Agent Incorporated, a corporation held in the city of Baton Rouge, state of Louisiana, with quorum of the directors present. The following business was conducted. It was removed in the segment that the following resolution be adopted. Be it resolved that the Board of Directors of the above name corporation does hereby adopt the EBRCOA 2019-2023 area plan. The above resolution was passed by a majority of those present and voted in accordance with the bylaws and articles of incorporation. I certify that the above and the constitute a true and correct copy of a part of the minutes of a meeting of the Board of Directors held on the 15th day of May 2019. I move that we accept the resolution. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? If you get an opportunity to take a take some time to look at the area plan, it kind of is, it's changed our scope uh, of direction for the next four years, um, according to the survey. Basically, I mean, we still do, of course, meals will always be our charge, but um, housing is, is top of the seniors' needs this year. It's five things housing, home modification, a lot of seniors need ramps built, um, help with getting up access in their stairways, that kind of thing. So when you get an opportunity to look at it, you see um, some of the, the focus ship chore, help with cutting grass, that kind of stuff. Transportation. Uh, yes. I probably should have said something uh, before we moved on to the next item. Uh -huh. I just want our record to be okay. correct. Okay. Uh, the 
previous resolution was for the ship contract. I think he inadvertently said Medicaid, and it's for Medicaid. Medicaid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I hear a motion to amend the acceptance of the resolution? as discussed by Professor Jackson. <laughs> so moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And lastly, Madam Chair, um, well, I'll let our great uh, illustrious attorney let him know <laughs> how we've been <coughs> having um, great communication with the city of Baton Rouge, the mayor's office, parish attorneys, and um, OCD. Uh, Murphy had, we had a conference call with the mayor and all of her folks and Jennifer and I were privy to it. But we didn't have to say anything because Murphy was on the phone taking mm -hmm. care of business. So we had <laughs> Murphy discuss uh, where we are with 1701 Main Street. You will call, we'll give you a little bit of history. The negotiation for, <clears throat> and the application for the grant for 1701 Main Street is not something that began in 2014. Uh, and it began, its genesis was not just within the state and within the city parish. It was, uh, it was pushed by, pursued by, driven by, supported by data and a grant right by the Council on Aging. This is long before uh, knowledge money. And, and, and that grant request finally made its way around. This was post-hurricane money. Post Gustav, those the great ones, yes. Um, Gustav and I. I, 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 I. Gustav and I. Yeah. And it, it resulted in um, almost $3 million in a grant. Uh, some of that money has been spent just to, to maintain the building at 1701 uh, as it was falling into disrepair, and then rather than letting it completely go down, they spent some money. Uh, but there's about, there's two, there's two million dollars in change left that um, has been dedicated to the reconstruction of 1701 Main uh, renovation. Contract for the renovation project has been put up for public bid. There is a little bidder. Um, we were ready to go uh, to the council last week thinking that we had draft an amendment to the CEA, and give you some CEA background. The Cooperative Endeavor Agreement, <clears throat> the first one dates back several years. There was an amendment to the first amendment to the Cooperative Endeavor Agreement, and then a proposed second amendment to the Cooperative Endeavor Agreement, but all of that involved and contemplated us leasing the building from the city parish. Well, <clears throat> when the bids came back, if we wanted the building that we knew it had to have certain things, and those certain things required um, some ads to the to the public offering, and it increased the price ultimately by five hundred eighty thousand five hundred eighty thousand dollars more than what the city had in in grant funds. Remember that the city had paid anything for this property. This property was taken pursuant to a tax sale. Years ago, it was, uh, and it's been, it was condemned as blighted property. And because of the efforts of some of the people in this room and, and uh, uh, Mayor Holden at the time as well, <clears throat> this whole process got pushed towards this being a building for the Council of Aging. Well, when, when we got it, we realized, <clears throat> we looked at the, the bids, we're gonna have to put up $580,000 of our own money during poor construction costs, and we were still <clears throat> not going to have any ownership interest. Plus, we're going to have to put up between seven and eight hundred thousand dollars in FFME for extra fixtures, office equipment, and other stuff. Um, and so, we were going to have a net investment in this building of over a million dollars going in. And we, the more we talked about it, and you talked about it at the last board meeting, we said, well, you know, we don't want to lease this building, but we want some ownership interest. <clears throat> we want ownership interest in this building, not just a claim to the kitchen equipment at the end of the lease. Or that we want to own the building. So we drafted a revised cooperative endeavor agreement that changed the whole thing from a lease to a, uh, an acquisition. 
we would at the end of okay, at the end of construction, when construction was substantially complete, after we put our five hundred and eighty thousand dollars in and while we're putting in the other eight hundred thousand dollars in FF and E, we would meet with the city fair so they would convey one hundred percent of their interest in that building to us. Again, remember, they have no money. They have that's all federal money used to build it, to rebuild it, except for the half million dollars we're putting into it, plus the other the monies that we're to fix it up. So what we we were ready to go. We were we had we thought that the politics was all set up for us to pass this at the last council meeting. And then some people canceled, some uh, council people who were supposed to be there that were going to be sure votes for us, and it's going to be a close vote, um, weren't there, couldn't come. So we agreed to pull it off the agenda, and <coughs> since that time, there's been discussions, well, can you, can, can the city give it to you? And we, well, it's not a donation, it's going to be an acquisition, we're giving you a bunch of money to complete the building, you've got no money in it. <coughs> and the question then was raised, uh, does this impair the grant in any way because it's federal money? We researched it. No. <coughs> we said, no, the, the, the Code of Federal Regulations that govern these types of grants uh, contemplates the fact that agencies like ours can end up owning the building. And so we cleared that. That was a legal issue that was raised by uh, one of the mayor's administrative staff. Uh, from just off the cuff at the podium, don't know where it came from. And then, the, and, and then we started getting pushed back from the parish attorney's office. And they started, they suggested in this conference call the most absurd thing I'd ever heard. And that was, well, uh, it's not our mission. Ca uh, caring for the elderly is really not our mission anymore since speaking for the city parish, and this was the city attorney. It's not our mission anymore because you guys got your knowledge. That's your job now. It's really not our job. And so and, and they use that argument to say we shouldn't end up with the building. I don't know how they got to it, but it's just, it was just a misstatement, a lie. Not a lie in the malicious sense, but it was a misstatement, inaccurate statement and so forth. The law says and so forth as what um, the policy of the city parish is. Had our seniors heard them say it's not our responsibility anymore, they're going to riot. I wanted to riot on the phone. I kind of did riot. You kind of did riot on the phone. I didn't have to say one. We didn't have to say anything. No, no, no. So, <laughs> he went off like a rock. So, so <clears throat> bring that all back around. It's just there's, there's no reason why they can't do this, Steve. Uh, for the, thank you, for the, uh, the money that we're going to have in it, except for the politics. So where are we now? The politics are such that they want more money. They said the, op the optics of us giving you a $3 million building for a half million dollar investment, or even if you count the FF and the a million dollar investment, uh, that's just, that's not going to go over good with the, with the people of, the, of Baton Rouge. Well, it may not go over real well with a couple of people on the council, but I think for the seniors it'll go real well. But the fact of the matter is, um, it's just a matter of how much money they wanted. And so we we discussed it and said, all right, let's look, let's what if we sweeten the pot? Not just the 580 that we're gonna give you for the completion of the reconstruction. Oh wait, don't forget we paid for that fence too. Yeah, we paid for the fence. We had to put up a fence, otherwise the building might not even be there. After the person got murdered. Right. So, how much money do you want? Well, this is a $3 million building. We're not giving you $3 million for the building. Uh, and we're not going to lease it. And where it ended up, we told them, if you're, gonna, if you're not going to let us own the building, look at somewhere else. We'll take our money somewhere else. And by the way, you you're going to have a, a blighted piece of property, and they got to pay the money back. And you got to pay the money back. So you can't go anywhere else. The, we well, them. they they suggest, well, we can repurpose that grant. And I had a conversation with the CAO today. I said, Daryl, I said, 
I don't know if it was you or somebody from the parish attorney's office that said you can repurpose this grant if we back out. I, I've had some deals with the federal grant. You can't repurpose it. Right. it it's, it's, technically, it's technically something that you can do, but given the timeline that the federal government gives <coughs> and expects you to spend this money once you get the grant, right. it's almost vert and given the fact that that's, this grant was originally specifically purposed and granted, <coughs> For us, the council on aging, the council on aging pulls out, that money's gone. Hey, I'm representing the sheriff who federal. used federal grant money to buy something that the department legitimately really needed. But the grant money had been given to purchase like specifically lights and a vest or something <laughs> yeah. like that. And they had to give it back. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, so uh, we said, you know, I, I, my, in my opinion, I think that we're in the cat seat. We are, we're in the driver's seat, and so far as if we don't, if we don't do this deal, they've got a blighted property um, in the middle that they can't do anything with, and uh, and so we have some leverage. Uh, Mr. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I think the whole idea of them controlling us and not being able to control us with that building is a problem for them. Because they exactly. feel like, you know, now we have this money. And of course, you're correct that we started on this so many years ago when I was on the council because we are currently in their building. That, that building that is on Florida Street is owned by them. That's, that's another one that needs to be demolished. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but, but the fact of the matter is, for me, I don't know what any other board member thinks. Because we are here where we are because of politics, has nothing to do with seniors, has nothing to do with anything else about the acquisition of the, of the repurposing of the land. Because they will be forced to pay the money back that they've spent, which we don't have any ties to or anything, I think we should stand on the ground that we said we, you know, I wouldn't sweeten the pot, stir the pot, kick the pot. No, no. Well, I, I mean, you know, I'm just saying, the whole deal for me is they have a blighted piece of property, which they did pay some taxes on, uh, the, the, uh, the tail was on it. Yeah, it's um, $89,000 the, for the lots. Right, yep. and that's it. That, that's, that, that's all it is. Um, but they would end up paying that federal money back. Not because, we're not on the hook. So no my, my only concern and issue is we did sign of the second CEA. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Well, you did? No, not the one they just proposed, the oh, one okay. before, what, for the, the 3500 a month uh -huh. in rent 25 for years. 25 years. So when you do the math on that, that is in is $1,050,000. $1, $1, $1, and in essence, when you give, when we give them the 580, what they're asking us for as the sweetening of the pot, it's the 470 that makes the one million fifty dollars that they would have received in the lease. That's what they want. Is what we committed to. Because if not, then Murphy will have to go and well, fight the fact that we have a lease that we signed and that we're gonna walk off from. But the but the lease that we signed. Correct me if I'm wrong, Murphy. They want to now change that lease. When the terms change, you can walk off from the lease. There, there's, the there's, we, we've never signed the lease. We signed an agreement to lease in the CEA. Okay, thank you. And that agreement did not include this extra money that they're asking us for. And that's my point. Right. That, 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 that is my point. It's totally different. Totally different. It's, it's, I they, guess can't my question they can't enforce that. That's, that's my question. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's, that, that's they my cannot question. enforce it. They can't enforce it. And they know they can't. And, and they, I don't think, no, you know. We oh, probably, no, they've admitted I don't think that, I mean, that's where the, the Paris attorney may know that they can't enforce it, but the people that are pushing it on the council, they don't know it. Well, I don't think they realize it. I don't, I don't think they realize the moving parts in it. And I think for them, it's just they want to make the council on aging pay something because it's the council on aging. That's they, it. And, and, we've got, and we've got money. Now. And, and they also right. yell at us about being serious. fiscally responsible. Well, that's what we're about to do. Right, right. <laughs> and, and, and if we're not on the hook for it, let them have the building. I mean, we could build the building for much cheaper. And then they'll have two blighted properties. And then they go, right, they're going to have two blighted properties. That's at the end of the day. Because uh, to me, really, a new, newly constructed building is easier to do than, than a renovated one. If you ask me, especially in that particular area, 
I know that you want seven years. I know that you want to. Well, no, I don't think it takes a long. But I know that they've been working on that. We've been working on that. Oh, I've been working on that. I've been working on that. I've been working on that. That's right. But anyway, so it's all my fault. I got it. But but my point is, if you keep letting people push you over and push you around. And, and dictating the outcome of, of this agency, we are never going to get any clearance from them. And they really want to control. This is another piece of now we can't tell them anything because they could come to that building and see what they want to see. They could come up with all kinds of rules on the building if it's their building. And if it's not, they don't have any jurisdiction over it. That's what the issue is. It ain't even the money that they're coming up short, is that they won't have any jurisdiction over that building. Is it the building about. or the agency? Or the agency, right. You, you, you can't come here and tell us what to do with our property. Yeah, the it's original. Like, that is the issue. The original. Let me let the special I had a question. I, I think I'm missing something. How is a blinded property worth $3 million? Once they do the renovation, it's, it, it would be estimated. Be but it right. would be worth that. But it's not worth that right. now. So their suggestion is to get an appraisal, right? To see what it, is, what it appraises at now. And then that's we I guess that's the option we made. Already? They did a roof and then they had to redo the roof. And then they had to redo the roof. Yeah. <coughs> speaking with, with federal money. money. Let's be clear. <coughs> right. Money came right. 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 City parish had to spend us down on the bill. Some taxes for the uh, three yeah. lots behind it. Ninety thousand eighty nine thousand dollars. That's right. And yes. the money yes. they spent is federal money on parish money. Correct. Correct. Okay. So what they, what they propose today, uh, in, my, in my conversation on the way over here today with the CAO, I was really struggling to try to, to, try to bring the two factions together, um, is he's proposed, he's, he talked to uh, Tom Cook, who is an uh, appraiser here in town, and said, can you come up with an appraisal, you know, given the fact that it was going to be $3,500 a month, 25 years, what that would make that property work if the, if the build out took place. Lots of ifs, and it's totally hypothetical. But he's trying, because we went back to him and said, what if we gave you all in, all in a million dollars? The 580 that we're going to spend, we'll give you, we'll sweeten the pot. What if we gave you another $420,000? Because at the end of the day, we are still buying a, we, we're buying a renovated building that's going to be worth actually $3.7 million. Yeah. So we will get a building with some equity and value. We, that's right. If we do the deal, if we don't want to cut our noses off to spite our face. Right. And there's, right. a ten, there's, a, there's a temptation to do that. But we would be, if we put up a total of a million. Standing principle, you go broke every time. So. <laughs> if, yeah, if we put up, right. we put up a million bucks, uh, which would be all in, give or take fifty thousand dollars. The way Tom has to structure this this appraisal, uh, then then he says uh, he could sell it to the naysayers. I said, well, you can. It really doesn't matter um, because we've got the votes, and we got the votes to do this right now with the parish attorney screaming at Holland. Anyway, we think to get it done. But we want, we've got to live with this council, and we've got to live with this administration, we've got to live with the parish attorney's office, and we would like to have something, uh, a consensus that is brokered, that we can argue was brokered by the mayor's office uh, between <coughs> parish attorney and council and us, whereby we put up the 580 plus another 420, give or take a $50,000, depending on the where the appraisal comes in, and they said, yes, mm -hmm. we will support that. However, we would like you to sign a guarantee that this property will not be transferred or used for any other purposes other than the Council on Aging for 25 years. I said, said that's no. a non-starter. We're not going to do that. Dr. Cole had a comment on the question. I heard yeah. in our previous meeting that we were talking about 400000 or something, plus the 90. Five, that, 580000 That's what we're talking about, sweetening the deal. No, we're talking about uh, additional on that. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. So let's go back. The 580 was 
for the kitchen. Uh, no, 181,000 was kitchen equipment. Right. Okay. So, so that's part in in that building. There will be a kitchen with a caterer's kitchen, so in case something has to be prepared there. Another hundred thousand was for upgrades to make the building senior proof. Automatic doors that slide open so that the wheelchairs could come in. Um, handicapped toilets, railings in every bathroom, railings along the hallways, non-skid flooring. Those don't go in regular buildings. And then green lighting, because the feds say all the lighting has to be LED green light. So another hundred thousand dollars to make it senior viable. So we were going to have to pay that as alternates anyway. We mean in the council. Right. So where the construction was short was two hundred and eighty-nine, two hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars. That's where the city parish doesn't have the money. So they asked us for the 299. We were already gonna pay the upgrade stuff for the seniors because we want them. There's no sense in renovating the building that when you get there and then it's already uh, outdated, right? So we were gonna, uh, out of compliance, right? So we were putting that anyway. So in totality, it's $580,000. Then there's another $780,000, which is called FF and &E, Furniture, Fixture, and Equipment. So uh, where we are right now is, and when we talked about this, I said, Tasha, I said, what if we just say, okay, million dollars, 580 plus we'll, once the deal closes, at the closing, we'll give them an additional $480,000. Nobody can suggest that we got the place for free. We paid a million dollars for a piece of blighted property. Yes, it was fixed up, but we helped and were responsible for it being fixed up as much as the city parish because we applied for the grant together through the city parish and the state to get it. So I said, I told Darrell, I said, but the 25 year deal is a non starter I said, we will agree that it will remain, I said, first of all, it's unconstitutional for us to commit past 10 years, because that's how long the millings last. We can't commit to I was just saying. Right. And the grant says five years. Okay. The federal grant, grant says five years. I was just saying, I think there's a five year. There's that's a five year. Uh, grant regs say five, five years, years. And, and it's got to be purpose for the same that purpose. Do and, so, and so I told him, we will agree to five years. We'll come up with a, a total package, hypothetically, if this board approves it, from a million to a million fifty. But that's it. And and you have to endorse it from the podium with a smile. We're not going to go grovel from the podium to those that sounds like a full of people. That's exactly what it's told. You're going to stand up there and smile and like it with us. I think I've had that in mediation. Thank you, me. It's not thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> You're going to give it to us. So, uh, and so if, if you're if you're in favor of this and we are going to be getting a three million dollar building for a million bucks right. which is a good thing I mean and we yeah. can leverage other things with yes and it, I mean we are building a building two blocks, blocks away so it's not like we're probably going to want to leave and Five, ten, or fifteen years. Right, that's right. It, it Presuming everything perfect. goes right. It was with the strategic plan right now uh, on building. Mm -hmm. This building works perfect for that. But what they don't want is you to sell it, and make a huge profit, and right. five years. And and that, I know what they want. That's, that's, they 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 yeah. that's they exactly they what he said. He said they they don't want you to make a profit off the back of this. Right. Right. I said, well, well this is so if, if because of the it investment, may go down. I mean, true. Real fast. Ten years from now. You know, mid city and inner city continue to grow. The investment, we're going to have almost a $10 million investment in that part of the city, which could very well spur development. We might be the spark for that yeah. area. It very well could be. And we may have a building worth five times, but it's worth it. But it's still our building to do with what we think is in the best interest. Because we could have catfish down too. That's so exactly right. Exactly. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I forgot about catfish. Jamie. My grandmother says if a dog knows between being stumbled upon and when it's being kicked, too much does this, that council try to kick us. So I agree with what Representative Marcel said earlier. I don't think we should try to sweeten the pot. I think we should stand firm because. They, they, they're crazy, but they're not stupid on that kind of stuff. They know that they can't. They, they, they would not 
do that to us that we stood for. Them. They would. Well, they would. to us. So I, I, I'm, I'm, not, money. I'm, not, I'm not thinking that they wouldn't do something to us because I think they'll do anything that empowered us. What I know is they don't have the money to pay back to the federal government, and that's what it would require. And it's coming up due real and soon. They, they I understand to, what I'm saying. The reason important. why I believe that we're in the can't see is because they have spent money that they would have to pay back. And I think they're already in that pickle from some money they spent downtown that they need to pay back. And so if they want to pay back money, I say go ahead. We're trying to take blighted, let's be clear, blighted property off of the city of Paris's hand, which, which was just sitting there minding his own business until we found it. They didn't even know it was there. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we figured out a way under Mr. William Danes to acquire it by working on getting the lots. Nobody even cared about 1701 Main, nor did they know about it, nor did they know about the grant. So all of this grass for this building is, to me, is, is really not about the building again. It is really about Paul. The, the power because the Council on Aging now has money. And we want some of it. And so give us some of the money. And so can we perp if we give them the sweet in the pot, can we purpose where the money going to summer programs or stuff? And the mayor, does she have any ability to say where this money going? That they, they gonna get from the city parish? You know, can we can you uh, is anybody listening? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So if we give them four hundred thousand dollars, then maybe we should say if it goes towards summer mm -hmm. programs or whatever we got that. Whatever whatever that is we give them. And now let's see if they still be in favor because they want to do what they want to do with our money. And more importantly, I don't even think they're going to like that deal. I, I, I'm just, you know, judging from what I've seen from them. I don't even think that the council, I think they would still vote against you. You talked about coming to the podium and grumbling. I think you're still going to hear that same thing from the same council members that you've heard before because they do not want you within the building. That they figured they helped you to get and they did not. They really didn't. They didn't do the grant or anything. The number one thing to get my support is we got to own it. Because we can't have, that's we can't. That's right. Have we can't own it. I said that. I don't think you did. You did. You did. You were. Okay. Yeah, we have to own it. We're not signing anything for anything past five years. No. Let's be clear on that. We, we agree on that. Right. And the 400000 dollars needs to be dedicated to summer jobs. And we'll give it to them. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> I think I think there may be, you know, they take the position they have no responsibility for seniors anymore. Yeah, they do. They still spend money on senior programs. Yeah. Uh, the city parish does. Some some is indirect, but they still do. Yeah, sure. they do to every citizen who's that. That's right. right. <laughs> and so I, I kind of like the idea if we can get creative uh, without maybe being too specific about where that money's going to go. Right. Give, the, give the mayor something to... She did this, come re-election time. That's right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and it's, and it's, it's my thought at the end of the day, you know, we, we got to go back in front of them to get our next budget approved. So we might well, you know. Yeah, you got to play nice. I, I agree with you. Do the right thing. They're not going anywhere. Not Have going we got anywhere. Well, I, you know, I beg to differ whether they're going somewhere because there's some kind of election in 2020. And I believe <laughs> the people that vote against the seniors, the seniors need to know that they vote against. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way to acquire it's, traffic, it's, is to yeah. move folks from there that's blocking senior. Because at the end of the day, all of us have our own homes, right? Right. And we have, we, we, you know, we can eat on our own, right? And we can purchase our own food. So the things that we're doing here is not for self-gratification. Right. It is for the scenes of this parish. And I, me personally, I don't know what anybody else is going to do on this board. But me personally, if they come to that conclusion, I'm going to make sure that I'm on every blog and every radio show we talking know. about the <laughs> art against seniors. Because that's what it's about at the end of the day. You're voting against seniors. It, it's, yeah. it has nothing to do with me. Right. The building has, I didn't fight to get the building for Denise. Pardon me? And the seniors vote. I think we showed them that seniors vote. Right. I think they know that. So I, I, I don't believe, and I think a few people are trying to aspire to go other places that's on that council. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's one that I never But Yes, ma'am. A couple of them. Two, maybe three. Right. But I'm just saying, you, you, you have to use what you have in front of you. Yes, we want to get along, Tasha. I get that. I know you have to go in front of them. I get that. Right. But at the same day, you can't let people keep walking on you, you know, spitting on you and tell you it's fine more. 
Because it's spit, it ain't rainwater. <laughs> I got it. Heard that put differently, but. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. All right. It's on y'all. I think that we follow the recommendation of the attorney and the proposal. As it is. As, but, as but you stated. With the, with the specific. Uh -oh. You making you 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 right? I want to amend that motion. You want to amend that motion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We want to say this. Well, if he's saying what I said, if he's saying what I said, I, the last thing I said was, let's let's put strings on the four hundred. Right. Okay. Four hundred thousand dollars. Right. We need to be specific about what those strings are for purposes of our resolution today. No. Well, according uh, to them, according to our conversation with them, they said that the money from the lease and it says in the CA was to go to other nonprofits. Yes. So if it does that, then they had already they committed strength. themselves. They had right. already committed themselves. I think, to I think that's that's fair. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Yeah. And, and I think we buy some encouragement from other sectors of the community by doing that. That's right. Tell, let us know who we need to call. Thank you, Mark. Um, do we need more? Second, all those in favor? Uh, uh, opposed? All right. <laughs> good discussion. No, great discussion. Good discussion. Thank you, Mark. We really appreciate it. Okay. And Shauna is not here, but I do want to say. going to be looking for the smile from the podium. Oh, yes, I, don't I, I do want to say, I don't that, that just for you all's <laughs> knowledge, that Murphy was on the phone with five other attorneys, the mayor, two CAOs, and Jennifer Hyde, and he put it to them. I'm telling you, like nobody, he burned them up. They didn't even know the when law. When he started pulling out CFRs, I was like, oh, Lord, I forgot about CFRs. And, I, and I, was, I was like, wow, it's okay. I just want y'all to know we get our money. I've been on the receiving end. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 Well, okay. Okay. Well, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank any other business? I know a question. I was talking to Tosh about this briefly earlier. Can you explain the advisory council? How many people are on it when they're appointed? How often they meet? They meet. Um, they meet once a quarter. There is currently 21, 21 seniors on the advisory council, and what happens is they tell their senior center coordinator that they're interested in being on the advisory um, council and their senior center coordinator tells the senior center director and then um, that center will say okay we want Ms. so-and-so to be our representative for our area and then they come to the meeting and then the advisory council will affirm them they meet just like um it's like this board. They meet once a quarter. They have a chair. They have all the um, all the the officers and a parliamentarian. And then um, in each quarter, they meet and discuss activities, um, what they want to do, and direction, and what the seniors need, what they like and what they don't like. And then they bring back feedback um, from the different locations. Plus what? The first step there. Yeah. It's the yeah, the senior center coordinator that um, somebody um, is interested. I think when we asked Central, they didn't want to participate. Probably not. I think so it's maybe changed. now if it's, yeah. if it's changed, that they have somebody interested, and then they can come to the okay. next meeting. Okay. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Any no, other? No, can't be here. It's no, so no, 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 Any no. other business? Okay. All right. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Thank you, Ray. Thank you all.